Hi, I'm Linda Campbell. I want to tell you a story. You may have already heard it. It's the story of the blind men and the elephant. But as a hypnotherapist, this is a really valuable story that I share with my clients a lot because it's a good reminder to not let negative people hold us back. And so it goes a little something like this. It's a fable about a bunch of blind men who are wandering around in the jungle and they come across an elephant. Now, of course, they've never seen an elephant before, never seen anything on account of being blind. And so they come across this elephant and they each decide to approach the elephant from a different angle and touch it and see if they can determine what an elephant is based on the part of elephant that they touched. So one man's got the elephant by the trunk and he's saying, well, I know what an elephant is. An elephant is a fire hose. It's long, it's cylindrical, water shoots out the end. I know what an elephant is. Another man's got the elephant by the tail and he's saying, are you crazy? An elephant's not a fire hose, clearly. An elephant is a rope. It's got this little tuft on the end. You can tie it in a knot. It's kind of stringy feeling. A third man has the elephant by the leg and he thinks they're both crazy. An elephant's not a rope, it's not a fire hose. Clearly, it's a tree trunk. It grows up from the ground, it's solid, it's kind of rough feeling. And on and on it goes, the men fighting amongst themselves, all of them arguing for their point of view. Now, of course, when it comes right down to it, an elephant isn't a fire hose or a rope or a tree trunk. And the elephant doesn't even really care if you call it any of those things. In fact, the elephant doesn't even care if you call it an elephant. The elephant doesn't spend any of its time going, well, somebody said I'm a tree trunk, I guess I'm a tree trunk. It doesn't act like a fire hose because somebody said it was, nor does it spend any time trying to convince you that it's not actually a tree trunk or a fire hose, that it's really an elephant. Quite honestly, again, the elephant doesn't care what you call it. The elephant just goes on about its way and lets the men argue amongst themselves, completely unaffected by any of the labels or judgments placed on it. Now you can see why I like to share this story with some of my clients in hypnosis. The subconscious mind is your creative mind and so it understands symbolism and it really understands these types of stories. This is why we tell stories like this to our children when they're kids. We want to get across stories with a moral. We want to tell them something, teach them something, but without being preachy. And so this is a good reminder to people that just because somebody places a label on you or judges you or calls you something, doesn't necessarily mean you are that thing and that we can be free to live our lives completely removed, completely unattached to any of the labels that have been placed on us.